How's it going guys? Squidgy Dino Toy here today. And we'll be going over the process of replacing assets in Skater XL using Unity Asset Bundle Extractor. In this particular example, we'll be replacing the deck mesh with a custom deck mesh I'm releasing, but you can do anything with it except for replace animated meshes like the hoodie, shirt, pants, or anything that moves on the skater. Um, you can replace the hat and the deck though. So in this case, we'll be going ahead and doing a custom deck mesh, but you can do anything like I said. Textures are another common one. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into this and I'll stop repeating myself. If we hop over here, we're going to go ahead and firstly, we're going to want to download Unity Asset Bundle Extractor. And I'll leave a link in the description of where you can download this. The next thing you're going to want to do is download whatever you're trying to use to replace. In this case, it's the Phoenix Deck Shape by uh, Welcome Skateboards that I've brought over to Skater XL. And um, this will come with a couple things, but we're going to focus on these .dat files. So step one is going to be open up the Asset Bundle Extractor. We're going to hit File, Open. And then we're going to navigate to our Skater XL Data folder. If you don't know how to get there, you're going to go to your Steam folder, wherever your Steam folder is. And if you don't even know how to find your Steam folder, you can actually go to your game, go to Properties, go to Local Files, and go Browse Local Files. And this will take you directly to your Steam Apps Common Skater XL folder. And if you want to navigate there the other way, go ahead and go to your so once we've gone into our skater xl data folder we're going to find this shared asset zero so now that we know where that is we're going to go ahead and navigate there so we're steam and then steam apps and then common and then go all the way down to skater xl and then go skater xl data and now we're going to go ahead and open this shared assets zero dot assets file this is assets file right here not the rest file or none of this shit just the one that says assets under the type i'm going to hit open okay so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to find what we're replacing and you can use the game path ids channel in the skater excel discord to find pretty much anything that you could be looking for i mean you can replace anything in the game but this is the stuff people tend to look for like um, you know the pin changing your pin to transparent or changing your body to have tattoos This is how you do tattoos is with the body albedo um, There's you can change anything, but in this case, we're looking for the deck mesh So I've posted up. We're gonna change both of these deck meshes 1356 and 1126 Unfortunately, we can just search by name go file search by name and we can just search deck uh, I think just deck works. Yep. There it is deck right here. Here's the deck material but then if we hit f3 it'll take us to the next one which is now a mesh these are what we want to replace this is 1126 so deck mesh 1126 so now the next thing we're going to do is hit import raw and we're going to navigate to where we saved the folder that we downloaded which is here for me um and you, you're going to want to use one of the dot dat's pick one um the original has the blunted end at the tail and the alt as the blended end at the nose. So I'll go ahead and just select the original because that's the one I prefer. And now we've replaced this one, so now we're gonna move to the next one, the 1356 deck mesh. And we'll do the exact same thing. Import raw, import Phoenix deck shape by SDT dot DAT. And we'll hit open. Okay, and now we can go ahead and file, save. And we're gonna wanna save this somewhere new. We don't wanna save it to where we have opened it from because you can't do that since it's open in uni bundle asset extractor we can't replace it directly so we have to save it and then replace it so i'll save it to my documents um this is a different file i just had on hand and then we'll go ahead and open up our data folder and we'll go ahead and open up our documents folder where i saved this new one to and i will simply drag oh whoops and I will simply drag and drop the new shared assets file into my Skater XL data folder. Hit replace file and destination, and now it's going to overwrite it. Oh, but I gotta go ahead and exit out because otherwise it'll say it can't be completed. So now we try again. And because it's not open in UABE anymore, it can be replaced. And now what we've just done is replaced our shared assets folder or file with the new modified one with the new meshes. And now we can just fire up Skater XL and play with whatever new assets you've put into the game. And as you can see, we now have our new 
uh, Skater XL board model in the game. The Phoenix model has taken shape. You can tell clearly by the blunted tail in this case, or nose. Uh, and you can do the same thing. So anyway guys, hope you enjoyed. I hope this has been helpful for those of you who haven't done this before. And I look forward to seeing you guys riding the new shapes. Thank you very much and have a nice day.